Hi guys, it's exam season again, and if you're watching this video, it might mean that you don't know where to begin with your revision. In this video, I'm going to show you the three tips I've been using most of all with my students this year. Now the first revision technique I want to talk about is using post-it notes to surround yourself with revision. Now the idea with this one is that you just plaster them everywhere around your house so that by seeing them so frequently, it's going to slowly sink in. So the first step we've got to do is make loads of post-it notes. Now what I'm doing here is making post-it notes based on Burn the Witch by Radiohead, which is one of our case studies. And this method is really good if you've got to remember quotes, uh, key dates, figures, statistics, stuff like that. Little nuggets of information that you need to learn for an exam. Okay, so I've got a bunch of post-it notes now, and the next step is to start decorating your house. Now, where should you put these post-it notes? It makes sense to me to kind of put them wherever you're gonna see them most frequently. So have a think about your daily routine. I want you to put a couple by your bedside where it's gonna be the last thing you see at night and the first thing you see in morning. Put some in your wardrobe, because every day you're gonna be selecting clothes. Put some on the mirror while you're brushing your teeth. Why not put a few on a cereal packet? Now there's two reasons that I love this revision technique so much. The first one is that researchers have found that when you link learning to your senses, you can actually retain an awful lot more. So that means if there's a smell in the room or a taste or you're, you, you've got some kind of sensation, then you can associate that with the actual information you're trying to retain. So things like a post-it note while you're brushing your teeth are particularly effective. The second reason I think it's so great is because it's actually reminiscent of the method of Loki or Loci, Loci, I have no idea how to pronounce that. If you know, please let me know. But it's an ancient Greek technique where you actually build a palace in your mind and you remember the information as you travel from room to room. Well, you know your own house pretty well, so in the exam hall, you can actually be thinking like, what was the information in my wardrobe? And then I went downstairs to the cereal bowl. What was, what was the information there? Okay, so the next revision method I have for you, I take absolutely no credit for. I got this from a Twitter user called Simon Beale, who's a history teacher. He posts amazing um, teaching resources, stuff like that, so be sure to follow him. And all you're gonna need is a simple piece of A4 paper. This method is all about taking a topic and distilling it down to its absolute basics. So the first step is to fill up this entire page with everything you need to know about a particular topic. Now, I'm just going to fill this up with everything I, I need to know about uses and gratification theory. So I'm going to put down some bullet points about what it is, the background, when it was established, how it can be applied to different texts. I really want to put everything on this page. Okay, now these notes are quite detailed. It's almost everything I, I could need to know. It's got examples, it's got specific dates. Now the next step is to fold your paper in half. And the reason for this is, you're now going to be testing yourself to try and distill all of that detailed information down into the, the key words, the things that you absolutely need to know. So here I'm taking the four different areas and I'm creating it as a spider diagram. And I'm just outlining what are the four uses and gratifications. Can you give me an example of each of them? So here's my mind map. Um, it's the same information but it's far more distilled, far more in a nutshell. And I've tried to really focus on those key words, the terminology that you're probably encouraged to use in an exam. Now the next step is to fold it again. So we're left with a piece of paper that's kind of ideal for just keeping in your back pocket so you can revise wherever you are. And on this small side, we're now going to try and summarize our notes using individual words and pictures. And there you have your completed revision resource. Now, like I said, the reason I love this is you can just keep it in your back pocket and you can almost give yourself different levels of challenge. So how much can you recall about use and gratification just based on the stimulus images? If you need some help, you can unfold it once and get those keywords, try and remind yourself. If you really want to go back to absolute detail, you can open it all the way up and do a full revision session. Now, the final revision technique I want to share with you is to take the information that you need to learn and to make something new out of it. Put it into a different form. So you might be revising a theory or a case study. Rather than just reading over your notes, do something creative. Why not write it up as a magazine article? Or you could make a talking video just like this one. You could design a PowerPoint as if you were going to be teaching it as a lesson. In making this new product, you will be aware of where the gaps in your knowledge are, and you can go out to retrieve that information to put it into your new product, thereby helping you learn it. 
Now this isn't a technique I'd advise you do in the days leading up to an exam, it's more the kind of thing that you can do in the weeks leading up. It's something to really solidify your knowledge. But again, it's a perfect example of how you're doing active revision rather than just passive revision. So that's all for today guys. If you're looking for further tips, you can check out this video. Or if you've realized you need to brush up on use and gratification theory, you can watch that video right here. As always guys, thanks for watching. And if you don't want to miss out on any more media tips and tricks, make sure you hit that subscribe button.